So today we're here at the Rehoboth Pub. Uh, ben, the pub brewer, myself, and Adam coming all the way from San Francisco, Monk's Kettle out there, uh, now Abbott's as well. And we're brewing a beer to celebrate the legacy of James Beer. is going to be called Beard de Gard, and it's very roughly in, in a Belgian Beard de Gard style. What we started bouncing back and forth was, if we were to sit down and, and have a beer with James Beard, what would we put in it? His favorite herb was uh, tarragon, so that's a highlight of the recipe. He was a big peppercorn proponent, uh, so Adam brought these amazing super fresh green peppercorns uh, smuggled in from California. And then right here locally in Delaware, he was a big apple uh, lover and we used our localist farm, if localist is a word, uh, called Pfeiffer's. In, in some ways this is a first for me, this is definitely the most in-depth I've been involved for a recipe for a beer from start to finish, which is exciting for me because it gives me a jump on what's going to be the dish with it. Adam has an amazingly long and illustrious career of, uh, of championing, combining the worlds of food and beer. I've been working with the Brewers Association for the Farm to Table Pavilion for the Great American Beer Festival uh, in the fourth year now. Um, so I'm going into my third year of doing uh, the menu consulting for Savor. You know, James Beard was sort of a, a local vor proponent before local vor was cool, uh, not only writing and educating for over 30 years, but was really uh, an early uh, cheerleader in saying, hey, let's be proud of using fresh local American ingredients. And Adam and I are gonna be really honored to uh, premiere this beer at uh, the James Beard House for a beer dinner that we'll be doing there in New York City uh, December of this year.